Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Little Catholic Boost, a daily reflection on the readings for Mass. Thank you so, so much for being here. I truly feel blessed to have you and appreciate you taking the time to pray with me today. Our meditation today is coming to us from the first reading from Mass, which is from the first book of Kings. Okay, I kid you not, you guys, when I read this reading, I thought, what an absolute amazing reading for this moment in time right now. So the long and short of it is Elijah is going through some really rough stuff and getting supremely persecuted among the Jews. Everything is going wrong and it's just mass chaos. And he goes up to the mountain and an angel comes and says, you know, the Lord is coming, like go out and be ready for him. And you know, Elijah goes out and there's fire and there's huge winds, there's huge storms, all this crazy nonsense, and the Lord isn't speaking in any of that. And I think sometimes we can feel like Elijah, where we just feel so distressed and we're like, where is my grand miracle? Where is my crazy moment of the Lord just calling down to me and telling me, this is what you're supposed to do? Where is his hand in all of this? Why doesn't he just swoop down and use his power to do something wild right now? Like, what is even going on? So how does our Lord respond to Elijah? He speaks to him in a whisper, in a small voice. The Lord speaks to those who come humbly to listen. And what does Elijah do? He bows. He comes before the Lord and he bows before him. I think this is just so crucial for us whenever we are praying in a time of distress that we need to remember that Elijah humbled himself. Elijah patiently listened for our Lord's voice. He didn't expectantly wait for some grandiose miracle. He waited and he listened to hear God's voice. So then how does our Lord react when we humbly present ourselves before him and ask him to come and ask him to enter into our hearts and to speak to us? The first thing our Lord does is ask what's wrong. And we might be confused because we're like, you know what's wrong. Why do we have to tell you? Just come and fix it all right? We want you to just whoosh your hand, fix everything, or tell me exactly what to do so that I can do it. But our Lord doesn't just want to burst into our lives and change everything and fix everything at the snap of a finger. Our Lord wants a relationship with us. It's not in these grandiose, miraculous moments or crazy things that happen that our Lord changes our lives. Our lives are changed when we ask him to come into our life and then when we cultivate a relationship with him. It's the relationship with Christ that changes our hearts. It is the relationship with Christ that gets us through these crazy times. It's the relationship with Christ that centers the way we look at the world. Yesterday we looked at disposition of the heart. Christ is the lens through which we see the world when we have that relationship with him. That is how we can address these big problems, face these big trials, talk about these important issues. So I encourage all of you today to look at your own lives and look at the way that you pray. Do you pray to have a relationship with God that is going to bear fruit in your life? Or do you pray for some grandiose thing to happen? Do you go before the Lord humbly asking him what his will is? Or do you just want him to be a vending machine that fixes all your problems? Or some crazy miracle worker that does your bidding like a genie? Our Lord is the peace in the storm. He comes to us in the quiet and humility of our hearts. He desires a relationship with us. I think times of craziness like these are are opportunities for us to go to the Lord for peace, go to the Lord for trust, because times like these just 
prove that we can't trust in the world to give us those things. Only God can do that. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Please make sure that if you like this video, you give it a thumbs up, send it to a friend, hit me up in the comments down below this video. I read all of them. I reply to all of them. Um, hit the notification bell, subscribe, do all the things. And above all, please have a wonderful day. May God bless you. And may we all ever grow in love with our Lord. Bye.